Okay, let's get into it. Ever imagined a city held hostage by a melody? Welcome to New Orleans in 1918, under the shadow of a menace known as the Axeman. Intrigued yet? From the vibrant jazz clubs to the quiet neighborhoods, the Crescent City was gripped by a paralyzing fear. A faceless terror began to creep through the city streets as a mysterious figure, soon to be known as the Axeman, commenced a series of chilling attacks. His victims were primarily Italian grocers and their families, ordinary people who found themselves at the heart of an extraordinary nightmare. This phantom assailant had a particular method of operation. He'd pry open the back doors of homes under the cover of night and strike while his victims lay asleep, unaware of the terror that was about to befall them. The weapon of choice. An axe, leaving a grim mark of his presence at every crime scene. But the horror didn't end there. The axe man had a penchant for theatrics, often leaving chilling messages scrawled near the scene of his crimes. One such message read, Mrs. Maggio will sit up tonight just like Mrs. Tony. This eerie note sparked theories of a vendetta against the Italian community, a possibility that only served to deepen the city's dread. As the attacks continued, the city was plunged into a state of chaos. The once lively streets of New Orleans were now filled with a palpable sense of fear. The residents, their hearts pounding with each passing night, were left to grapple with an alarming question. Who was next? The Axeman's reign of terror was just beginning and the residents of New Orleans were about to face an even more terrifying proposition. The Axeman was not just a prowler in the night, but a figure who would soon strike a chilling chord in the heart of the city, transforming the upbeat tunes of jazz into a haunting symphony of dread. As fear gripped the city, the residents of New Orleans were about to face an even more terrifying proposition. In a city renowned for its love of music, a sinister tune began to play. The Axeman, a figure of dread, had a peculiar demand. An alleged letter to the newspaper, supposedly penned by the Axeman himself, commanded New Orleans to fill its streets with jazz music as the sun set. I am very fond of jazz music, he claimed, and I swear by all the devils in the nether regions that every person shall be spared in whose home a jazz band is in full swing at the time I've just mentioned. This strange decree plunged the city further into chaos. Jazz bands played through the night, their upbeat tunes clashing with the city's chilling atmosphere. The Axeman, once a shadowy figure of the night, was now a terrifying folk legend. A boogeyman brought to life by the eerie strains of jazz echoing through the darkened streets. But as the city danced to his chilling symphony, everyone knew the melody of terror was far from over. Just when the city thought it couldn't get worse, the Axeman's melody took a chilling turn. In the midst of this reign of terror, in March of 1919, a letter arrives at the local newspaper, a letter allegedly penned by the Axeman himself. In it, he audaciously demands immunity from prosecution in exchange for halting his series of brutal attacks. Police Chief Joseph the Fussens Mooney, desperate to end the bloodshed, contemplates the offer. But before decisions can be made, the Axeman strikes again. This time his terror crosses the river to Gretna. This sudden shift, this gruesome twist, spins the city into further chaos. Questions circulate faster than the jazz notes floating through the air. Was there just one Axeman? Or were there copycats feeding off the terror, striking fear into the heart of the city? As the Axeman's reign of terror continued, the city held its breath for the finale. As abruptly as it had begun, the terrifying symphony of the Axeman came to an end. In October 1919, the final confirmed attack occurred, bringing an end to the reign of terror that had held New Orleans in its grip. Yet the mystery of the Axeman's identity remained. Suspects came and went, theories were proposed and discarded, but the truth eluded everyone. Was he a disgruntled worker, a member of a criminal gang, or someone with a personal vendetta against the Italian community? Despite the uncertainty, one thing was clear. The Axeman had left an indelible mark on the city. His reign of terror not only affected his victims, but also the psyche of the entire community. His legacy lived on, becoming part of the city's folklore, a chilling narrative woven into its rich tapestry. 
The Axeman may have vanished, but his chilling melody still echoes in the streets of New Orleans, a haunting refrain in the city's storied history. Thank you for watching. We hope that we have expanded your knowledge somewhat. It would be awesome if you would take the time to comment, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell so that we can notify you of our new videos. Have a great day. See you later.